Yeah, it was cool getting to see the design of it all. That's pretty, uh, I never thought how they build aluminum on boat, but I didn't know the process, and it's quite interesting. I mean, there's some big pieces in here. Every little thing is welded in here. Every little box, every little brace, every little, it's amazing what they can do and bend. It's, it's, it's just crazy, but getting to go up there and see it, especially a boat that you helped design. Me and Jeff Smith, Joel Harris, Chris Mann, several of the top crappie guys got together and. We said this is the kind of boat we'd like to have. And it's really a multi-species boat because it come off of, this is a basic catfish boat, which Sea Ark, you know, they got that market. And uh, it's got a 60 gallon live well with the cooling system in it to keep your fish cool. And the, the lids, the sea deck, Everything, the air ride seats, it's all everybody's different idea of what they'd like to see. I mean, it's wide. It looks like it's a ship, which it is a ship. It's well thought, you know. Fishermen designed it to fish out of. It is the ultimate multi-species boat. That's what it is. Sea Ark Flex. It's pretty awesome. Trout magnet. No, I'm not going brown fishing. Black crappie like little baits. I can just get them fired up. Eat that. Got him. Not me. There we go. I ain't really supposed to be catching crappie on a trout magnet. Pretty good. Cameraman, you want some of these to eat? Okay. He'll take them, he said. Let me put them in this here bathtub I got back. Swimming pool, sauna. I want something a little lucky. He thumped it. It's a better one. Here's what you do. You get you a silver bowl, you fillet them, but, and you can buy this at Sam's, Walmart, anywhere. You look for a salt, pepper, garlic seasoning. That's what I do. I sprinkle it all over and mix it up. Then I cook my french fries. While my french fries are cooking, I'll come back and I'll dump mustard in there and roll it, roll it, roll it, get it coated real good. And then I take, and this is key, Cool Ranch Doritos. Put them in a Ziploc bag, crunch them up real fine. And then put a bunch of flour in there with it and mix it all up. And pour on top of them fish. Mix it up, mix it up, mix it up. Not until everything's dry. You want some things a little gooey, but get it, make sure you got plenty on it. And cook it 375, two minutes. And your woman will start giving you money to go fishing. Cause she'll say, go get me some more of that.
Oh, here's a tip. You know how you break off? You're in the wind and you're always chasing your line. Look, put your pole into the wind and your line will blow right to you. And for free. Now look, here's the tricky part. The sneaky part. Take one of these here slab bites. You stick it in that hole. And it stays on the bait a whole lot longer than putting it on the hook. I mean, it just stays in there. It'll be there till the cows come home. Yep. See that? There you go. Got your little yellow eye chartreuse out. And you get one of these here. Salt and pepper. That I just bought at the Caney Lake Marina because I've run out of them. I should have put them in my order. <laughs> you should look at them. There's the ticket, right there. Let's see if we can catch one. Let's see if it works. Think it'll work? Let's go work. I'm right in the middle of them now. They ought to be playing. I'm gonna get it for you. Got him. This is a netter. A little better, but still not the big. That's a good eater. Oh, you got it? <laughs> All right. Well, let me catch another one then. I'm gonna tie a loop knot with this. Can you believe that this two pound line is bigger than that 10 pound? It looks bigger because of that stinking yellow chartreuse. And you'd think in clear water they wouldn't like that chartreuse, but you seen, I caught them on it. But that's what you do. You just change and bait. This is a high pressured lake though. It's not real big, can you? It's got some good fish in it. It's got a lot of people fish it. So you gotta be a little you gotta be a little sneaky. Old manners. I could probably catch a bunch on manners. Feels like he got shoulder. There we go. Nice. 
I like it. I think he'll make the team. <laughs> he'll make the team. How about that? He'll make the team. He'll make the team. I think he'll make the team. Oh, I tried to beat him off. I think he'll make the team. Goodbye.